Hey everyone, just wanted to do a quick video today for how to automate trading strategies between TradingView.com and the NinjaTrader desktop application for Windows using NinjaView. First thing you'll need, TradingView.com subscription. Uh, you'll need at least the essential in order to support webhook notifications. Second thing you'll need, You'll need NinjaTrader uh, client installed for Windows, and you will need a NinjaView subscription. So you can go to ninja-view.com, customer portal, subscribe. Once you subscribe, you'll need to download the NinjaView application. Uh, once you download that, you will open the file and it has a password file because the installer is password protected. You'll want to open the password file, see what the current password is. At the moment it is Ninja. You will need to enter that when running the installer. So once you install Ninja View, it is going to place a couple shortcuts on your desktop. So we will open the NinjaView configuration file and we will need to add a few things in there. So you will need to go to ingrok.com, create a free account. And once you're signed in, you can go to the cloud egg edge section, domains, choose to create a domain. And you're going to need to copy this into the NinjaView configuration file. This is something you probably want to keep private. You wouldn't want someone to uh, be seeing, uh, sending trading notifications um, to your computer. So this is just one I'm using here temporarily. Make sure you don't put any HTTPS or anything like that. All right. So once you have that in there, you can go to your auth token, copy that, and also paste that into the config file. Lastly, you will need to find the file path where you installed NinjaView and you'll need to paste that into here. All right, so I already have that. Okay, so we could go ahead and save that information. And when you open Ninja View for the first time, it's going to display a hardware ID. And that is something that you'll need to email to support at ninja-view.com along with the email you use to subscribe to NinjaView. And in reply to that, you will receive a key that is needed to activate the NinjaView. So this is the key that you'll need to email and you won't be able to proceed any further until you receive the activation key. So since I already have my activation key, I am going to paste it into my config file, but that, that's something that should automatically be added uh, from the uh, NinjaView application, um, there'll be a prompt to enter your email and, and that hardware ID, which should automatically add that to the config file. But okay, so so once we have all that information in, we can run NinjaView.
and you should see it down here in your system tray. And if you right click that, you have a couple options. One of those is to start a webhook. All right, so once it establishes the connection, you should get this notification. And if you look at the system tray, you'll see there's a little green dot. So that means that you have a connection. Um, so the next thing you need to do is check out your Ninja Trader settings. If you go to tools, options, there's two main things you need to choose. So if you go to the automated trading interface options, you need to check mark AT interface and you'll need to apply that. The other thing I recommend doing is going to trading and we want to I recommend enabling auto close position as a backup because if you're not at your computer monitoring the trades, you don't want it to um, hold a position uh, through the close of market um, and potentially cause you to blow up your prop accounts or uh, increase your margin by 20 times if you are using a personal account. So I'm central time. The time here is based on the client or your computer uh, time. So I have this set um, at 3.58 central time right before the close of market, um, five uh, Eastern. So um, if you ever modify this, it's important to close out of uh, Ninja Try to reopen it um, for those changes to go into effect. Um, okay, but so now that we have all of that, the final thing is trading, uh, creating an alert in trading view. So you need to choose your chart, get your chart pulled up. We can go to our strategies, add that to the chart. So as a test, we're going to choose uh, M Sky here. You want to make sure you're on the proper time frame that the or time interval that the strategy is designed for. And the next thing you will want to do is if you want to change any settings, you want to do that before creating your alert. Uh, whenever you create alert, it is a snapshot of all settings at that point in time. So if you ever change any settings, you'll want to create a new alert and delete the original for those settings to be in place. So once you have all your settings adjusted, if, if you're doing that, we want to go ahead and look at the list of trades. And we want to look at the most recent trade and double check if it says anything right here. Because if it is already in a long position and then you start the strategy, the exit for the strategy will result in a short position. And so we don't want to want that, um, you know, for a strategy designed to focus on long trades. But so once you confirm all of that, it is time to create the alert. So for that, we choose to add an alert and we will need to paste a JSON payload here. So 
this is the basic JSON payload. And in respect to accounts, you will want to put any account that you have in Ninja Trader that you want to receive these trade alerts from the from TradingView. So if you are wanting the same alert to place trades on multiple accounts, you can add them in here similarly to this. And that will copy the same trades across any accounts that you enter here. And you can find that from your display uh, name, I guess, uh, in Ninja Trader. Uh, for the ticker, you want to make sure that um, it is in a format recognized by Ninja View or Ninja Trader. Um, so uh, Ninja Trader uses different formats than some brokers and trading view. And so we want to put it in this format. The contract just rolled, I believe. So I think this would be well, I, I forgot what it is, but um, anyways, you want to make sure it's the correct month and year for the current contract. Um, so anyways, you paste that into the alert message field. And then finally, you will need to go to notifications. And this is where you have the webhook URL. So that is the one that you got from Ingrok. Uh, so you want to go ahead and paste that here. And here I believe you actually need to have the HTTPS. But that is it. Um, the strategy is live and so theoretically if it triggers it should communicate these trades to Ninja Trader. Um, if at any time you need to exit multiple positions, if there were any open, they would show here. You can right click and choose to flatten everything. But that's it. I hope that is helpful and have a good one, everyone.